Now, in the problem, it states that uh, you have a random variable x. The mean of the random variable is 50. And uh, the standard deviation uh, or sigma is equal to 2. So, these are some of the information that we get from your uh, question. And you are asked to find out what an upper bound. Okay, you are asked to find out an upper bound for this probability what is the probability probability of x minus more or less x minus 15 uh, greater than or equal to 4 now uh, see now this probability that is given over here looks somewhat similar to what the Chebyshev's inequality right now you know what is the Chebyshev's inequality I have written over here what is it probability of x minus mu probability of x minus 15 more or less please keep in mind that more or less greater than or equal to t sigma greater than or equal to 4 you don't have an upper bound over here so this is the thing that you have to find out that is what less than or equal to 1 by t square so for that you have to find out what t now the missing thing is t in this inequality all the other things you have that is mu uh, you know uh, regarding sigma also you have an idea right so let's see uh, how we can uh, you know uh, uh, solve this uh, problem now you have a, a probability over here you have 4 over here right 4 in the place of t sigma so put t sigma is equal to 4 right and you know what is sigma is 2 is equal to 4 and t is equal to what 4 divided by 2 which is equal to 2 right so you you got the value t is equal to 2 now what is um, that you have to find out 1 by t square 1 by t square is equal to what is t square t square is equal to 4 okay and so what is 1 by t square 1 by t square is nothing but 1 by 4 so you have the upper bound as probability of x minus 15 greater than or equal to 4 is less than or equal to 1 by 4. As you have seen in the question you are given the sample size as uh, 100, the mean is uh, 75 that is mu, the variance is given as sigma square 256 so what is your standard deviation? is d sigma is equal to 16 and you are asked to find out probability of uh, x lying between 67 and uh, 83 uh, so you have to find out the probability but by using the Chebyshev's inequality okay now let's see how we will do that now probability of 67 minus 75 now i have to make this into a form of the Chebyshev's inequality. So that is why I am doing this minus 75 less than x. If I do something over here, I have to do it for x and also for 83, right? Minus 75 less than 83 minus 75. Okay. Uh, then, which implies probability of what is 67 minus 75? Minus 8 less than x minus 75 less than what? Yeah, 8. Which implies probability of more or less x minus 75 less than 8 right okay now is this in the form of the Chebyshev's inequality yes now we have to find out what we have to find out this part okay so in order to find out that part what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put t sigma is equal to 8 to find out what your t is so my t is and you know sigma is 16 so that is equal to 8 divided by 16 now t is what 1 by 2 so what is uh, t square t square is equal to 1 by 4 so what is 1 minus uh, 1 by t square again 1 by t square is equal to what 4 now 1 minus 1 by t square what is it it is minus 3. So see, minus 3, uh, probability lies between what? Yes, 0 and 1. So minus 3 is less than 0. So you cannot uh, say that the probability, there is a probability of x that lies between 67 and 83 when we do it with apply the Chebyshev.
Now from the problem, it is said that uh, we are throwing uh, a symmetric die 600 times. Okay, so our n over here is 600 and uh, we are asked to find out uh, what the lower bound for getting lower bound for getting the number of sixes that is number of sixes between number of sixes between what 80 and 120 right so let x be the number of sixes that we get between 80 and 120 okay now here I say that x follows a binomial distribution with parameter np. Now here your parameter is n that is 600 comma your p what will be your p since we are only concerned with what the number of getting 6s and our p is the probability of success when we throw a die uh, for getting 6 1 by 6. So here p is equal to 1 by 6. Therefore, x follows a binomial distribution with uh, what 600 and 1 by 6 as your probability. Okay. Now, uh, so p is 1 by 6. Naturally, your q will be 5 by 6. Right. Now, again, uh, I would like to know your expectation. Expectation of x is equal to mu which is uh, I mean which is equal to in the case of uh, binomial distribution it is np that is equal to 600 into 1 by 6 which is equal to what 100 right now what about your variance variance of x in case of uh, binomial distribution is npq which is equal to 600 into what is p 1 by 6 multiplied by 5 by 6 which is equal to what 100 so 500 by this and this gets cancelled right so 500 by 6 so this is your variance okay now uh, we have uh, some of our you know uh, the terms that we need and for this to find out the lower bound that is uh, in we will write this uh, as what probability of getting x between 80 and 120 right this is something that you have to find out so how will you find out the value now this implies probability of 80 minus uh, 100 i just have to make this uh, probability in uh, you know in the form of this inequality that is the chip shapes inequality x minus 100 less than 120 minus 100 which is equal to probability of minus 20 less than x minus uh, 100 less than 20. Which is equal to probability of more or less x minus 100 less than or 20. Right. So I got something like this. Now I can relate this and your Chebyshev's inequality and I can easily find out my uh, lower bound. So, in order to find out my lower bound, I can equate or put 20 is equal to what? T sigma. Now, 20 is equal to T into what is my sigma over here? Actually, it is uh, the variance is 500 by 6. So, it is what? Root 500 by 6. So, what is T? T is equal to T is equal to what? T is equal to 20 into root dot T square. T square is 24 by 5. Then 1 minus 1 by T square is equal to 1 minus 5 by 24 which is equal to 0 0.792 which is the uh, lower bound of this particular problem. Then we have two parts. The first part is that we have to prove that probability of modulus x minus 2 less than or equal to 2 is equal to 15 by 16 that is the first part the second part is that we have to find a lower bound for this inequality so for this probability so let's uh, first solve the first part in the first part 
uh, from the question we have some informations and the information is that the density function is given as f of x is equal to 1 by 2 raised to x where x takes the values 1, 2, 3 etc. And the corresponding f of x that I have written it uh, according to the density function it is what will be it that is uh, 1 by 2 raised to x when x is equal to 1 I get 1 by 2 when x is equal to 2 I get 2 raised to 2 that is 1 by 4 when x is equal to 3, I get 2 raised to q, that is 1 by 8, etc. Okay, now, uh, now let's show that this probability is equal to 15 by 16. Before that, I would like to consider this part, that is more or less x minus 2 less than or equal to 2. Now, I have written something over here, that is x minus 2 less than or equal to 2. Now, we will uh, take a look uh, at the um, what numbers that x can take. So when x takes 1, uh, 1 minus 2 less than or equal to, that is 1 minus 2 less than or equal to 2, this inequality is satisfied. When x takes the value 2, 2 minus 2 less than or equal to 2, that is also satisfied. 3 minus 2 less than or equal to 2, that also satisfies. 4 minus 2 less than or equal to 2, that is also satisfied. So here I will have to add a 4 comma etc so this was etc but now i will consider one two three and four so according to this problem uh, x can take the values one two three and four and the corresponding f of x or corresponding densities are one by two one by four one by eight and one by sixteen so these are the corresponding densities now I have to find out that probability of modulus x minus 2 less than or equal to 2 is 15 by 16. So this is something that I have to prove. So let me see that uh, what will be the probabilities. Now what is the probability of this probability of modulus x minus 2 uh, less than or equal to 2 means what probability when x takes the value 1 plus probability when x takes the value 2, plus probability when x takes the value 3, plus probability when x takes the value 4, right? So that is equal to what? 1 by 2, plus 1 by 4, plus 1 by 8, plus 1 by 16, which is equal to what? 16, 1, plus 2, what is this? 4, Eight. Right. So what is this? 8 plus 2, 10. 10 plus 5, 15 by 16. So the first part is proved. Now let us find out a lower uh, bound for this particular uh, probability. Okay.